the Earth is paying the price for going against nature. Fossil fuels are running out, and renewable energy depends on the weather. But on the Scottish Highlands, there's something different. A hollow mountain nearly 3,300 feet deep, built by more than 4,000 people over six years to create a giant water battery, big enough to power 100,000 homes. No smoke, no waste, no noise. It's even recognized by the United Nations and environmental groups as a rare project where nature and humanity work together. What's really happening inside Scotland's underground? And why does the world call this place the Breathing Mountain? Don't guess, follow along to the end, and you'll find the answer. Right in front of you is Ben Cruishan, the highest peak in Argyle and Butte, considered one of Scotland's most prominent Munros. But most tourists don't come here to hike or admire the mountains. They come searching for something you can't see. Yes, Ben Cruishan is essentially a hollow mountain, just a shell of rock. Beneath hundreds of millions of years of ancient granite, Ben Cruishan is hollowed out, holding a massive underground engineering city nearly 3,300 feet deep. Inside are reversible turbines, each weighing up to 1.3 million pounds. Over 12 miles of tunnels snake through the darkness, connecting machine rooms, storage caverns, and a man-made hall 295 feet tall the height of a 30-story building big enough to fit the Tower of London inside. Therefore, 1.3 million pound turbines spin, generating enough electricity for 100,000 households, the entire population of Edinburgh. But why did they create such a marvel? The answer takes us back to 1959, when the world lived in fear of nuclear war. Britain faced a dire question. If bombs fall, how will this country keep the lights on? A man named Sir Edward McColl had an idea. Let's build a power plant inside a mountain. Yes, you heard that right. Why inside a mountain? Because granite is the strongest natural shield. He wanted to create a renewable, everlasting, and safe power source right in the heart of Scotland's wilderness. The project started soon after. 4,000 workers were mobilized. They called themselves the Tiger Tunnelers Warriors, fighting against stone. For six years, they lived in temporary wooden huts around Loch Awe, far from family and children. The humidity in the tunnels was always over 95%. Temperatures soared above 95 to 105 degrees Fahrenheit, and the dust was as thick as fog. Every day, they drilled blasted and hauled over 7.8 million cubic feet of rock all by hand. When the dynamite was set off manually, they had less than 20 seconds to escape. Yes, they had to run for their lives, but 15 men never made it out. They remained forever inside that mountain. To honor them, the Drax group created a special tartan pattern with 15 dark green stripes, worn only by plant guides, as a symbol of sacrifice. By the way, tartan is a classic Scottish plaid pattern of crisscrossed stripes and rectangles, often representing a clan region or organization a perfect choice for remembrance. On the rock walls, graffiti remains Hell's Kitchen, the dragon's throat proof of days when people battled the earth. On October 15, 1965, Queen Elizabeth II herself cut the ribbon at the opening. Yes, it was incredibly fast to hollow out such a massive mountain from the inside. But what fascinates the world isn't the speed. It's how a power plant inside solid rock actually works. Because inside that mountain is a giant battery. Yes, it's even better than that. Picture this. At the top of Scotland, there's an artificial lake. At the foot of the mountain is Loch Awe. At night, when people are asleep, the wind turbines keep spinning. The excess electricity can't be stored. So what happens, Croatian drinks it. That energy is used to pump millions of cubic yards of water from the lower lake to the upper one, turning the entire mountain into a fully charged giant battery. Then at dawn, when millions of people turn on lights, start coffee makers, factories, and trains, when electricity demand spikes, Kruishan breathes out. Valves open 
and water from the upper lake nearly 1,300 feet above rushes down through 12 miles of spiral tunnels, creating massive pressure on four Francis reversible turbines, each weighing 1.3 million pounds. In less than half a minute, the water turns into clean electricity, enough to power the entire city of Edinburgh. The plant operates at 75% efficiency, and when the reservoir is full, Kruachan can generate electricity non-stop for 22 hours, equal to what Monaco uses in a single day. Outside blizzards may sweep through the valley, but inside the mountain, the temperature stays steady at 64 degrees Fahrenheit. If you've ever seen sci-fi movies about future energy stations, this is the real-life version. 12 miles of tunnels, a machine hall as tall as the Tower of London light, reflecting off granite walls, so the whole space seems to glow from within. No smoke, no coal, no exhaust pipes, just water and gravity. If you think Kruachan is just a giant water battery, you don't know the half of it. It keeps the heartbeat of the entire UK power grid. Whenever the grid frequency fluctuates even slightly, Kruachan responds instantly. Have you heard of the tea break surge? It's a unique cultural and technical phenomenon. Every time a popular TV show ends in Britain, millions of people stand up at once to turn on their kettles for tea. In those few minutes, the whole nation creates a power shock to the grid. The biggest surge happened during the 1990 World Cup after the penalty shootout between England and West Germany. When the referee blew the whistle, electricity demand soared by 2,800 megawatts in just five minutes. To put that in perspective, that's equal to the combined output of three Sizewell B nuclear power plants. In that moment, Kruishan was immediately activated releasing water from the upper lake, spinning the turbines, and saving the national grid from collapse. The four Francis reversible turbines can act as both pumps and generators. When water is pumped up, they operate in pump mode. When water flows down, they switch to generator mode. This allows the entire charge and discharge process to run smoothly. Even more amazing, everything is controlled to keep the national grid stable at 50 Hertz. When the frequency drops, Kruishan releases water to add power. When it rises, it pumps water back up to absorb excess energy. In other words, if the UK grid is a heart, Kruishan is its pacemaker. Each cycle Kruishan can store up to 10 gigawatt hours of energy enough to power the entire city of Glasgow for almost a day. No lithium battery on Earth can match its lifespan and safety. This plant has operated for over 60 years with nearly zero emissions, no pollution, and still runs as smoothly as day one. The construction cost in 1965 was just 24 million pounds, about $600 million today. But Kruachan's story isn't over, it's about to be reborn again. Why? Because the world has changed. Wind and solar energy are booming across Europe, but they have a fatal flaw. They only work when the weather cooperates. When the wind stops or the sun goes down, millions of panels and turbines sit idle. That's when the country needs a place to store nature's energy. Kruachan is the perfect solution. It can soak up excess electricity at night and release it when the nation needs it most with no lithium batteries and no toxic waste. Starting in 2025, the Drax Group, the energy company behind the plant, will begin building a new 600-megawatt turbine complex, raising total capacity to 1.04 gigawatts. The project, worth about $100 million, will take five to eight years, and when finished, Kruishan 2.0 will be able to store enough renewable energy for 1 million households 10 times its current capacity. But the numbers aren't everything. Kruachan 2.0 is also designed for the Black Start Protocol, the ability to restart the entire national grid if there's a total blackout. In today's world, only a handful of facilities are powerful enough to do that. In other words, if the entire UK is plunged into darkness, Kruachan 2.0 
will be the power on button for the whole country. This project is also a cornerstone of Scotland's Net Zero 2045 strategy, one of the boldest green goals in Europe. When complete, Cruachan 2.0 will be the largest water battery in Western Europe and a model for eight new pumped hydro projects in the UK. Cruachan may be the most famous breathing mountain in Britain, but it's not the only one. In Wales, nearly 3,300 feet deep inside Elider Mountain is Dinerwig Power Station, proudly known as Electric Mountain. It's one of Europe's largest underground hydro plants, capable of producing 1.8 gigawatts of power in just 16 seconds faster than you can make your morning cup of tea. When completed in 1984, it cost 425 million pounds, over $1.1 billion today, making it the world's most expensive hydro project at that time. But Dinerwig proved that clean energy isn't just a distant future, it's the fastest reacting system on the planet. Cross the Atlantic to Washington State near Seattle, and you'll find Snoqualmie Falls Power Station, a wonder hidden behind a 270-foot waterfall. Operating since 1899, it's America's first underground power plant and still runs today. When you look up at the foaming falls, few know that right below, that water is powering thousands of homes, a perfect blend of nature and human ingenuity. Further north in Quebec, the Robert Bourassa Hydroelectric Station is a true cathedral of energy. Hidden nearly 460 feet underground, in a hall 1,585 feet long, 16 giant turbines, quietly generate 7,700 megawatts enough for over 8 million Canadian homes. The tunnel walls are hand-carved from granite, creating a space nicknamed the Cathedral of North America. And in the Swiss Alps, the Nondedrance project took 14 years to build and cost over $2 billion. Now it can store 20 gigawatt hours of energy, equal to 400,000 Tesla car batteries. Its two reservoirs are 2,300 feet apart, in elevation connected by a 10.5-mile tunnel, providing power for 1 million homes. These breathing mountains are forming all over the world, quiet smokeless, but silently keeping the planet's rhythm. Back to Kruakan, do you know what else is amazing about it? The entire hidden structure inside the mountain has had a hugely positive impact on nature. As you've seen in the pictures, it's really good for the environment. Even six decades after opening the area around Loch Awe, and the foot of Ben Cruation has been recognized by Scotland's conservation agency as a nature-positive site. Around the dam live more than 50 bird species from owls and falcons to golden eagles. The number of pine martens, a rare forest marten once nearly extinct in the UK, has doubled in just 10 years, from 2010 to 2020. What surprises ecologists most is the recovery of Loch Awe's ecosystem. After the reservoir was created, the steady circulating water helped double the salmon and whitefish populations, because water temperatures no longer swing wildly between seasons. That's something no previous dam has ever achieved. Inside the mountain, a natural winter shelter has formed for bats owls and even rare moths. While many places see power plants as enemies of the environment, Kruachan has become a safe haven for wildlife. This area is also used by scientists to study how the land around the lake naturally absorbs carbon, helping determine how well forests and wetlands can store carbon dioxide and in 2024, this project was officially listed among the 60 most important post-war buildings in Scotland by Historic Environment Scotland. Among thousands of modern infrastructure projects, only a few are considered soulful enough to be recognized as heritage, and Croatian is one of them. Today, more than 50,000 visitors come to Ben Croatian every year, not just to hike or see Loch Awe, but to step inside the mountain and witness the artificial heart beating steadily beneath hundreds of millions of years of granite. Many say that when the giant steel doors open, it feels like stepping into a movie, but everything is real. The hum of turbines, the misty air, 
and the rock walls still bearing drill marks from the 1960s. Kruachan has also become a symbol of a new energy philosophy. Technology doesn't always have to fight nature. Sometimes, it just needs to blend in. That's why many people call this place the mountain that stores electricity, a perfect definition for 21st century clean energy. And that's the story of Ben Cruation, the breathing mountain, the artificial heart of Scotland. Six decades have passed, and this place is not just an engineering marvel, but a symbol of harmony between people and nature, a place where technology doesn't destroy the earth, but helps it renew. What do you think about a mountain that can store electricity, breathe with humanity, and save a nation in seconds? Share your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss more amazing stories about living projects in harmony with nature.